I can't believe it. Is that a jackhammer? Yeah. I'm buying it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that next to it? That. This is for a uh, extremely high voltage power line. I think. Yeah. It looks like an anchor. Oh my god, it's so amazing. That's cute. Yeah, that wouldn't be very machinable. Okay. And plus, that's not really copper. That's like some other metal, I think. Some other alloy. I'm looking for some metal I can turn on the lathe. That's really nice. Look what you missed. That's, that, that's actually what I want. It's a solid piece of copper. Or brass, sorry. There's another one. Can you grab it? No. Oh. I think that's, yeah, that's brass. So that would turn really well. It's a real shame for that to go on the hey, strap. Is that copper? No, that's brass. Oh, can make a little Faraday cage. Yeah. Faraday cages are pretty cool. Would this work for that? Um, that would, that would, uh, that would probably be for like uh, an oven type thing. Like with this uh, stock price crash, the scrapyard has been stocking up quite a bit. Although they have been moving some air of their stuff into storage, I believe, because they totally opened up the area way up there. Wow, look at that. It's like one of those giant mixer things. That's pretty cool. Has the gearing ratio for turning it for dough or whatever. There you are, you're smart. I probably should have gotten that for the uh, jackhammer, but I didn't. Yeah, okay. What's that a ring to? Washer thing? Something. Probably an off cutting. Booshing. Booshing. Look at that, those are weird. Okay, now we have this, we have to get our... Oh, look at that. That's like a big diesel engine. Have to get our... Should I get one for my dad? <laughs> <laughs> have to get one... Oh, that's from a train, I bet. Or a metal bender. Oh. Sorry, what do you need to get? Have to get our end of the world apocalyptic gear. Oh, like shoulder pads out of yes. spikes and stuff. Yeah. Well, we don't need those just for the apocalypse. Chains. Water meters. Running speedos or whatever. Man, how do you break a water meter? Oh, look, at, look at those pistons. Those are pretty big. Yeah. Is that a... Weird. Yeah, break a water meter. Well, they are fragile, so... Who knows? Get work done with the dolly or the Ah, bring the dolly. Me and, me and Bill came by a couple months ago and we stashed something in the back. It might still be there. Set here. Yeah, actual silver. I was actually missing like two spoons and a knife, and that was it for like a set of twelve. Which is probably why they got rid of it in the first place, so I don't think they're here. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe sometime this summer we can dig out that bandsaw because that's quite cool oh, that one. yeah hey the lathe's still here oh and this uh pneumatic and these things you put these things like a year ago yeah they just been they don't move stuff i guess people just haven't been buying anything all the stuff i've left here is still here the transmission holder piece of whatever it is mm. I'm planning to get that and restore it for uh, so Bill can have it in his workshop. Fry baskets? Hey, am I? Okay. 
Should I get that? It looks useful. Well, I don't know. Looks pretty eaten up. Rye baskets. Yeah, those those have been there for a long time. But this is a lathe that I was looking at. Oh, that's actually not very big. I thought it was a lot bigger. No, no, it's a wood lathe, so it's a lot easier to deal with. Are you needing is that arm like a ram? No, that's like some shock absorber thing. Oh. Notice how it doesn't have any inputs. Hey, this is kind of neat for a cart. Oh, it's independent. Yeah, that's for a go-kart. Yeah. And I'm planning to eventually come through here and dig out a lot and get wow. stuff out. Yeah, those turnbuckles. Turnbuckle, that's the word, turnbuckle. Hey, that's new. Isn't it? Be, uh, actually helping. Man, that pile got yeah, they, they pushed it from the back because they're having some issues with stuff just piling up too much, and it's yeah. above the uh, layer, the layering. level they can. So yeah. Covered. Well, it's it's not on this entire side. It's it's on the side that I keep stuff. So I'm not going to get this actuator sometime, but that's going to be quite heavy. Oh, and I see what I uh, what me and Bill stashed away. It's still here. I mean, I didn't stash it. I didn't I didn't hide it so other people wouldn't find it. I put it. I put it in this, yeah, because otherwise it was going to be all munched up in the front and lost. So I brought it back here. I believe it's a compressor. It is. I thought it was interesting enough to save. And... What do you think, Mai? Should I get it? Want that one? That thing that me and Bill saved. I don't know. It's just like, like a pneumatic something, or it's like a piston thing, oh, Bob. Not too much new stuff here. What's that engine to? Um, I actually don't know what that's to, honestly. It's stationary. That'd be like what you'd use for a cylinder for a. Steam engine. I have a hard time not thinking about steam engines when I come to a place like this. That is a battery charger. Or a battery tester, sorry. I don't think it works. Hey. This might be a hydraulic pump. What is Todco? Todco. I, I picked that up in one of my old videos. I have no idea what it is. I think it's like to a... I thought I that. Yeah. <gasps> it is! It's a brand new hydraulic pump. Oh, wait, wait. it's already been up and back down, so that is a solid piece of metal. Oh, wait, no, it's a tank. Never mind. It's hard to tell what's solid and what's not. What? Yeah. Yeah, I see this. It's had, it has screws in it, so that means it's actually been um, preserved. I guess whenever they took this one out and put the new one in, they took those out of the new one and put it there to keep it safe, but then they ended up scrapping it. But I can end up using that for a pump or a motor. Nice. A hinge. Hey. That, you know what that's too? A walk-in freezer ah. from a restaurant. That one's broken. See, I told you, I'm, uh, I'm good at identifying stuff. This one here is broken off. Yeah, are you sure it's not useful though? I guess it's not too useful. It doesn't have enough leverage. True. Leverage. Hey, okay, you got one. Yeah. It's kind of like half of what you need for nothing. Well, if we can get around to the front, we can check what's new to the pile. Although I suspect, judging by how uh, relaxed they are up there, not many people are bringing new stuff in. Yeah, so one clip that I forgot to share on the previous video. Wow, that actually has grown quite a bit. Um, it's funny because I started with the clip, but for some reason I deleted it from the uh, timeline when I was editing the video. This is that wood lathe, that cheap Chinese wood lathe that I found a while back that was here. They chopped it up. So that, that's one reason why 
I try to get stuff. Anything I find that's interesting or shouldn't be thrown away, I take back there because a lot of that stuff, other people thought the same thing, mostly the workers. They brought it back and then someone else can buy it. You see these little, where are they? Forklift? The little ones, they lay on their sides. Yeah. What if they got into a fight and they fell over like turtles? They're all drunk. And they couldn't get up. <coughs> Whoa. Guys. Yeah. Hey, is this useful for anything? A conveyor belt. They might not charge for it, but yeah, that, that could be interesting. Maybe not today, but another day, that's kind of nice material. If any farmers are watching this video and need that conveyor belt, come here and buy it. If not, I might buy it sometime and do something. <sighs> hey, Mai, did you get that hydraulic pump? I didn't pick up anything yet. Okay. Hey. It's a Panasonic, I might get it. True Tone? Nah. I don't think this grill's gonna work. No, that's I'm a little done. crushed. That grill's fried, man. Ah. Little helium container. It's a surprisingly warm day today. Eh, just needs a new oil filter and it'll be good. <laughs> what do you guys say sometime we should come by here? And we should check out the lawn mowers because, I mean, the lawn mowers. We might, what if we were able to build, uh, just stay here for a couple hours, and get a lawn mower working and take that home? I, I don't think they'd mind. I would love to have a with oh my! We could just film a drunkard wars episode back there. We should do that. Even yeah, that is new. That was probably um. um Running out of words. This is some shifty shit here. Lots of engines. So where's the engine at? Way over there. Okay. <gasps> oh, this is a mining mining battery. Bunch of batteries actually. Yeah. Hey, my, look at this. It's uh, from a mine. Yep. It's a lead acid, so I don't need it, but. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you got a couple of those, haven't you? I'll toss it. I only have one. It won't get destroyed too quickly, so I can think about that then. Well, I'm thinking about this. Look at that. It's a. Uh, like a hydraulic thing it has a thing in it, like a reservoir. The one part I wanted out of it is not on there. What? The turn thingy. Oh, right. That's all I need off of it is a little turn thingy. Hey! Lawnmower engine. See, I think we could have a, a Scrappy Challenge episode here with... <gasps> Look at that! We should probably hide these, right? That's an actual good barbecue grill. Check it out. Yeah, it's a good one. Well, we found that other one that still works. Oh, that's... I think that might be seized. Yeah. Really stiff. Paint? Yeah, paint. Probably old paint. Oh, 
little Briggs and Stratton pump. That's cute. So that's the two cylinder engine I was looking at. Oh. It's not too bad. It's not very big at all. No, you were afraid it was going to be like that engine yeah, over there. I don't know how big it'd be. You thought it was going to be like that. I was kind of worried, yeah. Well, you never know with me. Sometimes I do I overdo know, things. Yes, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, that can probably sit on the seat. I'll take it. Don't take it apart. Oh, that's not bad at all. I can just pick it up. That's that's like 30 pounds. So even if they give me uh, their actual, their normal price, it won't be too bad. Mm -hmm. But they might give me a discount because... I got to go over and get the dolly. Yeah. Left on the back side. Loosen Gibbs before adjusting bracket. That might be for like a lathe. Hey, you need a cover for your chainsaw? No. I think they came with one. Yeah, so I'm going to go back with you too. And I'll carry this thing for you. Oh, look at that. Ha! What? Oh. Yellow thing. Oh. That's funny. Better built. Better built. Better built. It didn't Better get crushed. Built. Oh, wow. That's actually, that could be a vacuum chamber. That's pretty cool. I bet that's the thumbnail. Hey, Mike, can you take a picture of me with that? Or How do I do that? Or just get the shot lined up and I'll take a screenshot. Is that a flat belt pulley? It is. We'll get that too. If we have enough space. <laughs> I say we just get the jackhammer, this hydraulic pump, and the Yamaha engine today, okay? Yeah. 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 Hey, Yamaha box. What's in there? Are those Yamaha pistons too? That'd be, that'd be cool if they were. A whole bunch of piston parts. Bigger pistons though than the one I got though, probably. Oh, hey, those are like my gloves. <laughs> I know, I forgot those here. They're about to the end of their life though, anyway. Uh, just a second, I can... I can really get out the way. Oh. I see why this is strapped. It, uh... Snapped off. I can weld something on that to get it working though. Oof. I can get your stuff. It's fine. Well, that was fun. I wasn't expecting to get a jackhammer. I've actually been thinking about buying one, so it was pretty good. And I also got something for the uh, belt sander, the huge belt sander I'm building. A nice back plate for it. But it's a piece of box tubing so I can seal off the ends, drill holes through it, and use that air pump that I restored to uh, push air through it to make it an air bearing so the back of the sandpaper on the belt sander isn't pushing up against it too much and slowing down the motor because I only have smaller rated motors. So that should be, be one good way to increase the efficiency. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!